Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Craven Shaving. Uh, I've got two great things that I'm going to, well, a few great things I'm going to be using. First of all, I have a sample of Corpse Reviver from um, Prohibition Style. And then I have the Single Edge Razor from, if that'll focus, from Supply Provision. Or Supply, I don't, they might just be Supply now. I always just see Supply. Anyway, these are the products that I'm going to use. And uh, I, I, I think this might be one of my favorite um, Prohibition style. I've already got it lathering up in the shave bowl with the Yaki 26mm uh, uh, brush. So that we can just go ahead and jump right in. Not too much uh, pretense today. We're just going to jump right into it. So let me wet my face. All right, and uh, go ahead and start lathering up. Um, I am excited because, um, and part of the reason why I'm using this brush um, is because it is a 26 millimeter. It's the only 26 millimeter knot that I have right now. But I have ordered some 26 millimeter knots and a new batch of resin, so I'm going to be making some 26 millimeter brushes instead of the 24 millimeter ones. I, I got some 24 millimeter knots as well, because that's just a classic size. But going with some of the me, bigger ones as well. So, all right. So this, um, this scent, um, it's got some citrusy stuff. I think it's lime. I want to say it's lime and I think there's some vanilla in it. I can't remember. It's a nice scent though. This is nice. So, um, I think it... I lathered it all up. I think this might be the last time I shave everything. I need to start my start of the school year goatee or beard. I haven't decided yet. Probably goatee because let's be honest. I need to shave something. So I have a lot of beard products that I need to start using. I've, I got <laughs> I don't know what it is. I think my brother-in-law gave me a, a beard brush just to say, hey bud, you need to grow up your beard again. Cover up this whole thing that I have going on right here. And I wonder if my mother-in-law just got confused in, into what I was into with this hobby and just figured, ah, sha uh, shaving stuff, beard stuff, it's all the same. <laughs> Slick as can be, nice easy first pass. That was really quick, and I'm not trying to rush through this. I just happened to go quick with that razor. It's very intuitive, so very very mild, very very nice. Mm, yeah, this is a good one. All right, let's go ahead and pile it on. Um, I really enjoy these Prohibition style soaps. They are fantastic quality uh, products. And like I've said before, in case you're just tuning in for this and didn't catch my other review on, on their stuff, um, it does not take hardly any, it, it doesn't take very much soap at all 
in order to whip up a ton of lather. So that is something that really, really is a benefit to me because that means, um, I mean, if the samples that I got, which were not huge, they weren't small, but they weren't huge, can last me as many shaves as they are, um, then the full-size um, Harvey Wallbanger one that I got is going to last me ages, especially since I don't use it exclusively. So if you're if you're looking for that one soap brand that you can get and exclusively use, there are lots out there, but this would be one of them. Might have just cut myself. Originally, I wanted to get other injector razors to compare to this. So I am perfectly happy with this one. So I don't know if I really even need to. <laughs> Um, I guess I should at some point make that comparison. Let me come uh, rinse and come back for pass three. Okay. Um, yeah. I, I don't know. There my my list of razors has kind of gone down the razors I want to get I wanted a Parker variant for a long time that was at the top of my list now it is not it has been surpassed by that carve razor everyone's talking about I want to get my hands on one of those don't get me wrong I'm sure I would still like a variant but Man, everyone's talking about that car razor like it's the best thing ever, and I gotta get in on that, I think. I think I'm rushing too much with this. This isn't the usual nice smooth. I mean it's it's it feels smooth, but I'm I'm already feeling a little bit of skin irritation. Which I haven't gotten before with this razor. Right isn't so much. I mean I have a little. I think the first on camera one cut myself pretty bad. Let me uh, rinse off, clean up, and come back for some post shave. One second. All right. Okay. Well, this is a great razor. I love this razor. Um, definitely no issues with sharpness, and this is at least the third use on that. Um, Quartz Reviver. Very citrusy. I think it's orange and lime, and then gin and salt. Can't remember all of the notes. Um, Yaki. Um, yeah, does a good job. 26. I like the bigger handle. This is actually the one that inspired me to make brushes with bigger handles. Um, yeah. So we've got that going on. Um, lathered up in the shave bowl. Okay, now 
I am tempted to use Cannonball again, but I'm not just because I don't want to overuse it. So I'm going to go pack the skin bracer. It's been a while um, since I've used this. Mm -hmm. So I think what my thing is with with the alcohol burn, because I mean skin bracer has a lot of that burn. It's the same reason that I like really minty toothpaste or cinnamon, really strong toothpaste that burns my mouth because I feel like it's working when when that happens. So I love that alcohol burn. Skin bracer has great menthol in it too. Gotta love it. Mm. I don't mind the alcohol drying my skin out. I don't have a problem with dry skin, so not an issue. Okay. Well, that's it, I think, for this shave. Um, you can see my shirt's gotten quite destroyed, but that's okay, right? All right, Corpse Survivor, great stuff. If you like citrusy scents, it's a great one. Um, if you're looking for a good injector-style razor, you can't go wrong with the Sinkle Edge. It's, it's fantastic. Um, other than that, I think that's all I have. Hope you guys are having a, a, a great day, and keep on craving shaving.